Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist, or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into this week's new products, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series, and if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you would consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post new videos every Monday through Friday. So let's see, I was just peeking through Instagram and I saw quite a few new products, so let's start off with Trend Mood. So I feel like all the drugstore companies are now coming out with like the jelly highlighters. I know e.l.f. has a jelly highlighter, NYX is just coming out with a jelly highlighter in three shades, and they're also coming out with some Born to Glow loose highlighters. I'm personally not a fan of loose highlighters. I can't, like, I think they're a great deal if you like them, but I find them just a little bit too messy, not as precise as I would like a highlighter to be. And I'm just a big fan of good old fashioned pressed highlighters. But these do seem like they're going to be a decent deal. I know NYX is getting more and more expensive. Expensive. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I would check out e.l.f. because e.l.f. did just come out with the jelly highlighters. I saw them in store. I'm not sure how much they are, but they're definitely less than the $15 that NYX is charging for them. Um, I don't know if e.l.f. has loose highlighters. I'm pretty sure they do. If not, Wet n Wild has loose highlighters, and those are pretty good. So Lime Crime is coming out with a new Venus XL palette, and it's just called the Venus XL 2. Super creative. I have no idea what it's gonna look like. Is it gonna be like the same color story. I feel like we've kind of been seeing the same stuff come from Lime Crime for a while now. I've never personally tried a, um, I don't know if I've tried anything from Lime Crime yet. I think it's a brand I really want to expand and try out in 2019, but as far as I know, I've never tried them. I've seen them in store. I go to Riley Rose and they are in store there, but nothing's really caught my eye. So, I mean, we'll see what the palette looks like when it actually comes out, but if it's going to be the same as the other ones, then not really. What is this mess, Burberry? Just, oh, I hate it when they have multiple shades in one pan. Like, even if, what is it supposed to be? Compact for the cheeks, which has a bronzer, blush, bronzer, and a blush for a radiant glow. Just to, bah. Bah. Mario Badescu is now apparently going to be sold at Sephora. I wonder... If there's going to be anything different because i did just pick up a couple of the sprays from ulta and i really do like them i've incorporated them into my skincare routine but yeah i just wonder i mean it's probably it's a fantastic move for the brand of course they want to be held in more locations in person but i've only ever tried the sprays so if you've ever tried anything else from mario blah blah blah, 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 blah. so if you've ever tried anything else from mario badescu let me know down below what it was and what you liked I think this is the first time I've seen bath bombs, like, like specifically from Lush here. I don't get the appeal of a limited edition bath bomb. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I love bath bombs. I love them. But I feel like, A, they're pretty overpriced at Lush, even though I do like them. They're overpriced. And B, what? I don't get the limited edition bath bomb thing. I don't. Um, so while I will pick up one every now and then as a treat, I have a little mini one that I picked up when I was visiting my friend. It's not something that like I pick up all the time. If we're going into like their lotions, that's another story. Their Karma Cream is like my holy grail lotion of all time. It is expensive, <laughs> but it, it is one of my favorite scents of all time. But when it comes to bath bombs, I don't see the appeal of a limited edition release like this. So Milani is coming out with a uh, shimmering face palette. I think this is a $17.99. I have no idea how you're supposed to use all of these. The pans are so skinny. How are you supposed to get a brush in there? Well, it looks cute. <laughs> They're also coming out with a bronzing powder, um, some liquid highlighters. I'm not a huge fan of liquid highlighters. Yeah, some more lip products. And nothing I'm particularly interested in, but I mean, the palette does look cute. I just don't think it would be... Uh, feasible to use. So this new palette from Viseart. I have a bit of a history with Viseart shadows. I liked some of the smaller palettes that I got, but then I picked up one of like the size of their palettes and I honestly, I think they're overpriced. They're good shadows, but they're not incredible shadows, right? And I know everyone was like, oh, we want something more colorful. We want something new, but I'm looking at this palette and I just think it, it's 
kind of looks like a hot mess. Right? And it's 80, it's going to be at least $80. Yeah, it's $80. And from what I can tell, it looks like they're all shimmers or satins. Uh, no, I mean, personally, I'm not one that is going to purchase Viseart anymore. I have quite a few Viseart shadows. A long time ago, I did a, not a long time ago, but a while ago, I did a single shadow collection. If you guys want to check that out and see all the Viseart shadows that I have, I'll link it up in the cards. But having those and knowing I don't reach for singles or those palettes anyway, this is an easy no. So I looked at this new Sephora Favorites kit and I was actually kind of interested. I ended up talking myself out of it, but this is the new Get Glowing set. And I think it's just available at Sephora JCPenney, which that's something I don't particularly have any JCPenney's nearby. But I was looking at this and I see you get like one of the Origins face masks. I love Origins. I really need to get back into using more of it. They also have a Sol de Janeiro product, which I really want to try their shower gel. Can I say anything today? Shower gel. I really wanted to try that. Um, the Exfoliate Kate from Kate Somerville is in here, and I think I tried that out in a box. Or my grandma. I think my grandma got Fab Fit Fun for a, a little bit, and in one of the boxes she got the Exfoliate Kate, and I tried it out, and it was okay. I'm very on the fence about expensive exfoliators and toners and I don't think they're 100% necessary. I mean, it was okay. I, I would never go out and buy it myself, is what I'm saying. But it didn't, like, make me break out. It it was an okay exfoliant. Um, and then you also get a little mini Sunday Riley in here. You get a Josie Marin, um, You've to the People Green Tea and Hyaluronic Acid. Yeah, like, this is one of the things where I saw it. I saw the Origins and the uh, Sol de Janeiro and the Escola Kate, and I was like, oh, that's, that's upgraded, like, little kit of products. I kind of want it. But it's $40 and uh, yeah, I don't need it. I really don't need it. I am so excited for this. I actually cannot wait until these are nearby or in stores or something. Milani is coming out with new concealers. So these are Conceal and Perfect concealers. They've got a large shade range on this too and they're only $8.99. I tried out their foundation. It surprised me. I mean, it's a good wearing foundation. Of course, I don't have a shade that matches me like perfectly, so I do have to mix it or lighten it. But I did like the formula. And I cannot wait to try out these concealers. Like, just look at that packaging. This looks like high end. $8.99. Oh, I, I love affordable concealers. I get really excited when I find a good affordable concealer. So I cannot wait to try this out. Jeffree Star posted like the sneak peek that is now like all over Instagram and everything about a new blinding highlighter that's going to be coming out next year. He's got a lot of stuff coming out next year. I think he's going to do concealers. He's going to do foundation. I'm going to be on top of that because I'm very interested. I've been very impressed with all the products that I've bought so far. I got a couple highlighters. I have all the eyeshadow palettes just about. So I'm interested. I can't wait to see like how the brand is going to fare in 2019. Elf apparently also just came out with a new concealer that totally went over my head. It's available from Ulta. It is a 16-hour wear camo concealer for just $6. This would be interesting because I haven't found a concealer from Ulta that I like. Even though there are, there is a foundation that I really like. I like the Acne Fighting Foundation. So I will try this foundation, not foundation, I will try this concealer out. They do have a decent shade range, but it definitely leans more light. It's... They could have done some more darker shades from this picture, from what I can see. But I'm hoping it'll be in store, because just that's the one thing with drugstore concealers. It's just so hard to find your right shade, just because for the most part, there aren't any testers out. Elf also just came out with this new eyeshadow palette. It's called the 18 Hit Wonders palette. It has 18 matte satin and shimmer shades, and it's $14. Mm, I think the middle row is really cute, and I like the bottom row with it, but something about that top row is just kind of meh. I feel like they could have made it smaller and just done like the two bottom rows, but I mean, it looks cute. I did pick up their new matte or new natural, whatever the neutral palette was from this line, and I got it broken. And unfortunately, I couldn't return it. They have a seven day, I bought it in store. So you, you have to return it within seven days with the receipt. And I didn't get there in time. So I just have that palette. I might throw it in my next potting video. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or I'm just gonna try it out broken in my next full face of elf attempt. <laughs> but um, 
So that being said, I, I'm not really in the market for another one until I test out thoroughly the one that I have, just to see, because I haven't tried out this formula. I think this formula is different for e.l.f., so we shall see. Ooh, this palette. It's just a mock-up right now, but this is from Certify. This is... I mean, it doesn't even have a name or anything yet. They just came up with a concept, and everyone's losing their minds over it, including me. But they said that the last palette that they came out with, they kind of did the same thing. They did like a Photoshop mock-up and then they came out with an amazing palette. I believe that was their orange and red palette, I think. Um, but if this actually came out, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Those last three rows, look at those greens. I'm entranced by like their idea for that last row with the deep forest green, the silver, and then the white. I'm getting super Slytherin vibes from this and I'm loving it. Seriously. So moving over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, we get a sneak peek of a palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. I gotta say, the packaging's gorgeous. Just look at the roses and everything. I have no idea what the shades are gonna look like, but it looks like a decent sized palette and I do like the mirror and the packaging. So, I mean, it's cute, it got my attention, but now I need to see like what actually the palette is. And this is again going into kind of what I talked about last week's video about like we don't really need to see every step of the process <laughs> for these sneak peeks because I have no idea when this is coming out. I have no idea when to keep my eyes open. Like, it, again, like I don't need to see everything. Has anyone heard of Mater Makeup Labs? It looks like they're based out of... Where are you based out of? Okay, honestly, I can't tell where they're based out of, but they're coming out with a palette called like the Anatomically Correct Palette. And I'm just a sucker for like those kind, like that aesthetic of like the old school, like anatomy textbooks and the anatomically correct heart. I have an anatomically correct heart plushie right over here because my best friend got it for me and I love it. But I love this aesthetic. I want to see what shades these are. I wonder if they're going to be like red and blue, like kind of like the heart and blood or, or what they're going to be. But this being said... I have my eyes open. I now know about this brand. I do want to know like where they're based out of because I kind of want to think about like shipping and it's, it's a small palette but I'm sure shipping would still be a lot if they're not in the US. But it looks like it's coming out February 2019. I think it would be adorable to come out during Valentine's Day, right? I think it'd be very cute. Also sidebar, this is just another um I guess post from that brand's Instagram page and whoever's watched like this is amazing. Like, I want the stencil because I love that. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Okay, and I think we're gonna leave it at that for this week, guys. Just a heads up, I am filming this New Year's Eve in the morning. So this is Monday morning and this goes up on Wednesday. So if I missed anything big that comes out over the New Year's, I'll have to either keep it in next week's video or I can respond in the comments down below if you guys wanna let me know what I missed. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.